Hello everyone this is Mukundan Raghavan and today we are going to do two more main tasks in our framework the first one is creating the requirements.md file so that we will have all the list of requirements that we are going to implement and second one we are going to choose the AUT or application under test so that we can write our test cases for the application and this application should have all the main scenarios and it should not be the dummy application it should be looks like a real time application let's start with the point number 1 requirement.md if you go to the vs code and if you create any file with extension .md file that will be considered as a markdown file and you can write your md file in a simple syntax using symbols such as like a hash symbol hyphen symbol and asterisk symbol or let's say any kind of symbol when you use this one when you try to open in the preview you will see very nicely for example after writing your dot md file you can go to this icon and just click on the preview you can see that so for writing the md file you don't need any extensions or any plugins so after writing you might be having this dot md file the question might arise now here why do we need the md file this md file will be the a walk through or let's say the documentation for any user who are going to use this application or who are going to use this framework we should have the clear requirements drafted here so that we will not miss any requirements and in the future also we will see what are the other updates we can do by considering this requirements.md let's go through the requirements.md here so we have mentioned whatever we discussed some time back in the diagrammatic way for example we have created three sections one is overview one is features another one would be the sample test cases the overview tells about the high level information and features tells such as page object model data driven testing logging retry mechanism self healing cross browser testing multiple environments password encryption code quality ci cd integration reusability utilities data generation parallel testing api mocking and testing it's nothing but what we discussed in the diagram then after that we have created the test scenarios for sample by using the sample application application under test and it will be having a simple step so that you can understand further how our requirements has been implemented by using the sample test scenarios so after having this requirements.md file now we are going to create the sample application so in order to use the sample application you might find the different sample applications but this time we are going to use the yeah, enterprise application which is a saas solution as well we can use the url developer.salesforce.com/signup it's a very simple straightforward window you will enter all the details your first name last name email address your role can be developer or administrator so it's fine both are fine and your country your postal code and your email address probably you will give your gmail account or any your personal account so after having this you will be having the mail in your mailbox to register and to start up so let's go we have already account and for that you will be going to the login.salesforce.com and you will be having your account and just click on login and after that you will be having the different applications maybe you can click on the app launcher here you can see like a nine dots or rubik symbol in that you can just click on the service we have lot of application in salesforce but as of now we can consider only the service application for example let's say you have the company you might be providing some products or let's say some service so service kind of thing we can just manage with the service application it will have the accounts contacts cases reports dashboards as we progress in this session we will understand how to create the contact how to create the account what are the link between those things so that we are not only creating the automation but we will try to understand the actual business scenario for that we are automating now coming to the vs code again so now we have all the features we have the sample application so that in coming days you can directly start using the automation and this is all about this video and always be a rainbow in others cloud